told me that she killed her baby at seven months. We were pregnant at the same time and she's about to have her baby now. Sad. for me because I, I never you know what I mean address a lot of things like anything that goes on in my life I've been told like Tommy just don't say nothing let it blow over it'll blow over it, it's gonna be the next five ten posts is gonna be something else they're gonna talk about something else so <clears throat> and mo ultimately it's been about strangers. So basically I was with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, you know, I'm listening. I'm following instructions basically from people that knows has been in the industry longer, who knows more, who, you know, is professional. And this situation right now, me, I don't agree with the fact of addressing, you know, family matters or, or really ultimately any matters on social media. Because for one thing, I know that the people that you're talking to, they really don't care. They don't care. And at the end of the day, it's humorous for them. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's a laugh. It's a kiki for them. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Like, they're going to go on about their life. They're going to go on about their business. So you never really see me addressing, you know, things that are personal on the Internet. I feel like that's wet. But when it comes down to my family and anybody that knows me, they know how I am and how hard I go for my family. Y'all know my struggle. Y'all know who I am. Y'all know, like, bits and pieces of... You know, how I come up, my take on abortion, my take on anything of that nature is, is this. I could put it to you like this. The reason why I feel so strongly about that opinion for females to have a say so about their body is because this is something that you are never going to be able to undo. You're never going to be able to undo having a child. And ultimately, I've come from a broken home. My brothers came from a broken home. A lot of my peers came from a broken home. And it caused us to, to make some weird decisions because ultimately our parents wasn't there. And we didn't have no role models. We didn't have nobody to look up to and, and things like that. So basically, you're not given a manuscript on how to parent. You're not given a manuscript on how to handle X, Y, and Z. There's no book out when you in that labor and delivery room. It's no book out to show you when you leave here how to address X, Y, Z. You get what I'm saying? So me, I would rather... I would rather my take on abortion. Yeah, I would rather a teen live their life because I was a teen and I had I had a baby young and I didn't have nobody. I didn't have anybody to tell me this or this is what you should do or that. So I didn't have none of that. So ultimately, my decision to my child that I think so highly of and that I love. Is that I don't want her to ever face the things that I face. I don't want her to ever go through that. I want you to be in your dorm room. I want you to complete high school. I want you to have wild parties. I want you to live, live, live out these years of your life because you never get them back. You never get these years back. You're never going to get your 20s back. You're never going to be able to be a teenager again. Ever. This, so that is when you see like test messages and stuff like that. That's ultimately what I'm thinking about. As a mom, I'm disappointed. I'm hurt. The I went through a time where I was so depressed, like I wasn't eating, I wasn't posting, 
I have endorsements. And I'm not posting what I'm supposed to be posting because I'm in my head about somebody sleeping with my daughter. My daughter having sex. How did it get to that point? How did it get to that point, Tommy? It got to that point because I was arrested. I was arrested because I went and addressed my other daughter about being disrespectful. Yo, you can't disrespect me and not only can you not disrespect me, you cannot disrespect any adult. So I went and addressed my daughter at school. Society is so fucked up. You can't even you can't even discipline your children right now or you're going to jail. So I'm faced with this, right? Boom. I go to my daughter's school to address her about being disrespectful and it turned into a worldwide mess, as you know. Now I'm in jail for four months. It took four months for my daughter to make a wrong decision. Four months, right? Four fucking mm -hmm. months for my daughter to make a wrong decision that's going to ultimately be her whole life. One wrong decision could cost you your whole life. You get what I'm saying? It might be funny. I see a lot of people laughing and shit like that. But the reason that I'm doing this is because I never talked to y'all about some serious shit or about real shit. Yes, I think abortion is an option. You want to know why? Because if you don't have the money that it takes to like out of your pocket without insurance, without uh, welfare to pay your doctor for your OB, uh, OBGYN, you don't have that. You ultimately, that's rule number one. You ultimately, like, you're headed, you're headed for a world of motherfucking, it's going to be crazy for you. You don't even have that. And as a teen, if you don't, <laughs> if, if you don't got the money to pay for a doctor, my nigga, if you don't have the money to pay for a doctor, then... You like we don't we're not even going to get into where you where you live at, where you stay at. We're not even going to get into that. You don't even have the money to pay for the doctor who's going to deliver your child. You don't have a career. You have not finished school. Like these are all the things teens need to think about. Like when you ultimately. Oh, yeah, he's whispering in my ear. Ah, 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 we're having sex. He wants me to have his baby. If somebody asks you to have a baby, they already don't respect you. And they already don't value your life. If that's the all you can see for me, if you're not whispering in my ear why you're fucking me, that you want me to be the greatest bitch in the world and you want me to win and you want me to be successful, you're already, already going down a wrong road. One thing I can say is I did this alone. You have never once seen me post any drama about a baby daddy, about a this, about a dad. I don't care about them. When I did this, when I had my children, I had them. They mine. I didn't ask anybody for a handout. Never. I have 35, probably 40, 50 mug shots. And they all for getting money. They all for getting money. And, and that money went to my children. Not only did I raise my children, I raised my mom's children. I was a mother to them too. I was a mother to them too. I'm not gonna get personal about what's going on, but one thing I cannot stand for is, I'm not gonna leave this earth knowing everything I sacrificed, all my blood, sweat, and tears, because someone is emotional. I'm not going to leave this earth. Anything can happen to me or happen to anybody. I'm not going to. I got to stand on this because I know who I am and I know every decision and every move that I made was for my children. It was for my children. I went to jail a million times about my children, about providing for them, about making sure they had the littest, most, you know what I mean, life that they could imagine because I didn't have that. I didn't have that. I ain't have none of that. And I know what it took. 
I know exactly what it took. So do I believe in abortion? Yes. Yes, I do. Because I, I don't, I wouldn't suggest somebody have a child that they can't not even, not even take financial out of the equation. Take financial out of the equation. When you have a baby, ultimately you're going to have to have a job. So you got 24 hours in a day. Ultimately, you're going to have to have a job. You're going to have to work at least nine hours to make a, I guess, I don't know, a decent check or whatever the fuck. So you're going to have to work those hours. Those are hours you can't be away from your child. See, when I had my children, it wasn't no Instagram, but you could go to my Facebook, <laughs> Tommy Lee, and it's, it's them all through my Instagram. All through that. That's what I was on. I didn't have a life when I was from what 15 17 I didn't have no life I didn't have that I had a responsibility and I had to take care of my children so that's what I was doing in those years that I'm supposed to be having fun I'm supposed to be oh I'm supposed to be in college I'm supposed to be you know what I mean on the dorm having frat parts all of that stuff I didn't get to do any of that I didn't have a prom or none of that because of the decision that I made when I thought that I was in love when I thought that that was the end all be all, like I, I thought that, oh, this is the man I'm going to be with for the rest of my life. And how many of y'all know, like, that's it never is the man that you're going to love for the rest of your life. It's never it never is. It never is. So from my own personal experience, what I told my daughter was. You don't want to make this decision like this. I say you have plenty of time. Do it right. No sin is bigger than the other. So you already had sex unprotected. You already had sex. You're not married. It's no bigger than making a proper decision to, so you won't have a life altering mistake and decision. So, you know, y'all can feel and judge and whatever. One thing about it is that those are my personal beliefs and I'm a human being and I've been through a gang of shit so I can speak on it because for I speak from experience. I'm seasoned. I'm never going to tell somebody anything wrong, especially not my child. My sister, she came to me when she had her first child. I'm with you when you want to have an abortion. I'm with you if you want to have your baby. I could care less about what people are going to say or feel. I have to act on my real emotion. Like, you know what I mean? I don't put up a fa facade and act like it's, it's something that is not. It's hard. It's really hard. And it never gets easier. It's, it never gets easier. And one thing about this internet shit, when you come on here and you think you're talking and you getting shit off your chest, who are these people? Like who? My main reason is because I'm hurt. I'm hurt because everything I fucking sacrifice is for my children. It's for being a mom. And now you're you're coming for that. I can't sit back and let that rock. I cannot sit back and let that that rock. Like no, no. I had so many dreams and goals and aspirations for my daughter is unbelievable i seen her going way past me way way past me when i moved to la i immediately took her pretty little thing you're gonna model got her in beverly hills high school all of these things before i even knew she was pregnant i'm in jail i left you with your dad for four months and this is how fast a life decision can happen in four fucking months a life-changing decision was made and i would never get too person personal to tell y'all like <laughs> the real shit that happened the real shit that happened man fuck that you know what i'm saying nah 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 just fuck that you know what i'm saying because it's, it's all over the place because i'm trying to sound like some shit that I ain't, I'm trying to, you know, skip around. The facts is this. The facts is, is, is respect. It's respect. 
I bring you home after after being, you know what I'm saying, homeless, sourcing a place. I have to move out of Atlanta and I bring you home. This your room. This your walk-in closet. This everything. We're going to figure this out. But you're in there making YouTube videos. You're in there making YouTube videos. I say, what you doing? Making YouTube videos. Why are you making YouTube videos? You're, you're about to be a mom. You need to be playing, plotting, and strategizing. What are you making a YouTube video for? I don't know who the fuck y'all mamas is. I don't know who raised any of you people. But this is some serious shit. If you bringing a baby into the world, you ain't got time to make YouTube videos or really too much be on social media like that if you're not, you're not a graduate. You're not a high school graduate. So I ain't agree with that. So, you know, it was a big blow up. The police got called on me and everything. And as you know, I just came out of a situation. I would never kick My child has an active dad. She went to her father's house. How I feel about abortion and what I said in those messages is how I still feel. I feel like if you don't have the money to even pay for the doctor to deliver your baby, you in some serious trouble, my love. You in some serious trouble because not only are you going to need that times 10, you're going to need a million other fucking things. You're in trouble. What's, what's, what be the plan? What is a fucking teenager's plan? What is the teenager's plan for a baby? You can't give me one. What is a real reason to bring... You know who's going to wind up fucking with the short end of the stick? It's the baby. And I know. Because my kids got the short end of the stick. These are the things I'm trying to tell you to let you know this is what, what you got to prepare for. This is what's ahead for you. This is what's ahead for you. So if it don't nobody feel that, then you know what? Maybe we're not on the same type of time. I am never going to tell my child, oh, yeah, just go ahead. No, I'm not going to say that. That's not how I feel. That's not how the fuck I feel. And I would never do that. So if I'm wrong for that, again, shoot me down. I don't care. I don't care about what anyone thinks about how I feel inside. I have to move. I have to move accordingly to how I feel. And I know what's right is what's right. And basically, let's see, I was a young mom. My mom was a young mom. I ain't old enough to be nobody motherfucking grandma, bitch. I'm not old enough to be nobody grandma. My mom wasn't old enough to be nobody's mom. We keep making the same fucking mistakes. We keep making the same mistakes. Who gonna say something? Who gonna say something? I'm supposed to celebrate with you when I'm talking to you. You telling me about a gender reveal. What is that? A gender reveal? I'm talking about money. How you gonna get money? How you gonna afford this? A gender reveal. After all the hype die down, who you gonna have? After all the, which one of y'all, which one of my followers right now, or which one of her followers is gonna take care of her, her baby? Which one? Why all the opinionated people? Which one of y'all like slump down for real finna take her in and take nobody? How many of y'all gonna care about this in three hours? I ain't even gonna say 24. I'm not even gonna say a week. How many? How many? Nobody. Stop living for this internet shit. Stop thinking you could skip steps and be somebody and somewhere them them people you don't know what the fuck people be going through in their life you can't you can't skip no steps you know how many blood sweat and tears i went through you know how many times i'm waiting for them to hear pack it up do you understand i don't expect y'all to understand i'm not rocking like that and i i think so highly of my children and I, and I think, and I love them so much, regardless of what ever going on in my life. That's the only thing that I can stand on, that I know that I can say without a shadow of a fucking doubt. I'm a mom. I'm a mom. 
I've been a mom since I was fucking little as hell. And now I finally get the chance to motherfucking. They growing up. All right. I could live. You know what I mean? I could live and I could do it. Yeah. And it's like at what point they just change. I couldn't believe it. Four months of my life. Four months. It took four months to fucking dissemble everything I built for fucking 16 years. Now 17. Now 17. Four months. Just off of social media. Shit is really whack if you think about it. Shit is really whack. I've been there. I've never left. I didn't give them up. I ain't, I ain't, you know what I mean? I've been there. I've been the active, active parent. Like, nobody could take that away from me. I won't let it. I won't let nobody take that away from me. You get what I'm saying? And if I have an opinion to give, yes, it was at that moment. It was at that moment I felt like you don't want to do this. Live your life. You got so much growing to do. You got so many things to learn. You got so many experience to experience. Like, it just ain't the time. Like, you know, and all of y'all, the, the way of what's going on in the world right now today, how the world going, we don't even know what's next. You think I want somebody to have a baby right now? No. You think I really want my teenagers to have a, like, are you, are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Like, no. Ultimately, I don't owe y'all motherfucking shit. But for the people that's been rocking with me and the people that's, you know, from everything, all of my experiences, the people that's been there for me, I feel like for y'all, I'm coming on here and I'm going to be transparent and I'm going to tell y'all like how I really, really feel without having to say too much. I'm very disappointed. I love my daughter. And this decision is life altering, altering no matter how how you flip it. It's it's, it's going to be life altering. But the for the most part our relationship has took a turn for the absolute worst. And I feel for her. And I pray, I pray for nothing. I pray for this to go the best way that it can go. And I pray that she gets whatever ill will out of her heart right now because you have a life inside of you. And I would rather, This shit, do whatever the fuck y'all want to do with it. Hey, listen. Teen pregnancy ain't the way. It's not the answer. You have so much living to do. You have you have so much to learn. And ultimately, like, you're depriving your child. Whatever child you have, you're depriving that child. Your children deserve a fully established, seasoned, career-driven mom. They don't deserve the headache and the strain that life is going to put on you. Mm -hmm. And that's how I felt in, the, in those messages in that moment. I thought so highly of my daughter that I didn't feel like she needed to, to, to do this right now. And um, for all the, uh, the grandma jokes and all that shit, like, bitch, I'm not even old enough to be a, a grandmother. I'm not. I'm not old enough to be a grandmother. It's a, it, like it's just 
it's just a mistake you know what i'm saying that she has made and when she's done ranting and going on with the internet for this for this for anybody who feel like it's that's the answer to go wild out on the internet and, and get it off your chest you don't know any of these people nine times out of ten they don't know you and it's just pointless because at the end of the day this is this shit right here is undoable it's undoable and the main person that's going to be there and support you that's that's who you hurting and some bridges like when you burn them motherfuckers it's it's that it's really that you know it's so hard to get back and it's just like who are you doing this for none of these people right now today if you told them, hey, I need X, Y, they're not going to be there for you. They're not. They're really not. So, you know, yeah, I've done a lot of things. If, if you knew, if you knew the behind story, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't feel like this about me. Y'all wouldn't feel like, oh, Tommy's a, a what? Right. A what? I don't risk my, my future. I don't risk everything so many times i'm all in i'm all in i'm all in about mine so yeah it's heartbreaking it's hurtful it's all of it yes my views remain the same they remain the same i'd rather you not bring a child into the world that you can't take care of because who's going to end up deprived is going to be that child so nah i don't fuck with that Take it what you want to do, mix it up, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Y'all y'all do what the fuck y'all want to do, because y'all going to do it anyway. Me? I love my children. <laughs> I love my children, man. They did, they did more than half y'all adults ever did. Like... I'm in disbelief myself, me. Every decision you made in life been because of your kids. That's the sick part, huh? That's the sick part. And mind you, all of this is taking, uh, taking place because I'm here with my sister. My sister want to have an abortion. I'm here at the abortion clinic. My sister want to have her baby. I'm right here having your baby. I don't care. I love my fucking family and I'm 10 toes down about them and I don't care what anybody has to say about that. These are not my fucking decisions. And somebody had to tell me that because I was in a place of depression. Someone had to tell me, Tommy, you're going at it like it's your personal, it's like your personal fucking failure and it's not. It's not. When these kids get a fucking certain age, they start thinking, they start smelling their stuff. They start thinking like they got all the answers and they don't. And they don't. And when you try to talk to them and it, and it gets disrespectful, you might want to put your hands on them, but you can't. You can't because then you go in a fucking jail. You're going to jail. Seven months. Who cares? How about 17 years? How about 17 years of mine? You talking about seven months? 17 years. I'm never going to get that time back. 17 years. The fuck? Blood, sweat, and tears for 17 years. Never miss an occasion. Never. Never. It was an award ceremony. You did it all by yourself effortlessly. It, it, it wasn't an award ceremony. It wasn't a birthday. It wasn't a back to school. It wasn't a spring break. It wasn't a fucking summer vacation that I was not present. So when you speak to me and you telling me about, oh, seven months, seven months. <laughs> The police was called on me because I didn't want my daughter in the room pregnant and I'm making her crab fries like a motherfucking Susie fucking homemaker and you're up there making fucking YouTube videos when you could be studying to graduate earlier. Fuck quarantine. When you could be online 
doing? What is your plan, young ladies? When y'all out here, what is your plan? What's your fucking plan? You're not a city girl. At the end of the day, you're not a motherfucking these what you looking at on like a lot of a lot of the teens right now is looking at oh they think this person popping they think that person popping so you know what i'm saying it can have bitch they pregnant by rappers they pregnant by niggas that's already established and got money who you pregnant by who are you pregnant by and they still left them they still left them listen y'all gotta put y'all motherfucking Y'all gotta really think out here. You get what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all gotta really think. That ain't your situation. That's not your situation. What you looking at? On, and that ain't they situation. Everybody cap. Every, don't cap me down. Everybody is capping. Everybody is capping. You get what I'm saying? This shit hard. It's it's really hard. It's really fucking hard. So when you seeing this shit, you seeing up the side, you feel like, oh, I could do that. Oh, oh yeah, it's gonna be. It's this shit ain't easy. This shit hard. And bitch, if you can't come out your pockets and pay a doctor to have your baby, you need you need to reevaluate motherfucking life, bitch. Because it's a whole lot come with that. It's a whole lot more come with that. It's a whole lot more come with that. I'm not no yes man. I'm not about to go along with no bullshit. That's never been my style. I cannot do it. I cannot fake it. And not even for my own. I would not do it. I would not do it. So, listen. To all of, all of the young girls out there that think it's cute right now. Oh, everybody got a cute baby. It's 2020. I want to see how my... Listen. Live your life. Live your life as long as possible, free, without that weight, without that heavy responsibility, because you cannot undo. It's not a fucking puppy. It's not a pig. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not all these fucking exotic animals and all of this shit I done had in my house like it's a fucking zoo for my children. It's not none of that. This is a life. It ain't going nowhere after the cute phase, after the motherfucking, oh, it's here. Then what? Go to school and then what? Your Go to school, secure your fucking future. Like, that's what I'm about. Mm -hmm. So if I'm wrong for that, well, bitch, guess what? I'm going to die wrong. If I'm wrong for that, I'm going to die wrong. I don't give a fuck. I believe and listen, if I done seen 10 motherfuckers do the same thing, and I see how hard it was for them. Why would I want to go ahead and just do that? That don't make no sense. It doesn't make any sense. And like with the utmost respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. All y'all motherfuckers who don't agree with me can suck my motherfucking dick and suck on my asshole while I'm shit. Man, fuck that, man. <laughs> hey, listen. I done been nice enough. Feel how you want to feel. I know how you been dealing with all this like these past past months. How much you done set up pride, like complete. It's all, it's all, it's all attention, man. You don't, you don't want this life. I'm telling you. I'm telling you though. It's a lot came with this, and and for everybody that's supporting me, everybody that's been, you know, really like genuinely fucking with me and that understands where I'm coming from. That understands where I'm coming from. Listen, I appreciate it. Uh, who's it? Mm-hmm. 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 I'm off this shit. Hey. It's not about her feeling. That's that, and that was another thing that broke my heart. Because I, I tried to prevent all of this. It's not about... I'm not looking for, for for karma for my daughter. That's not how my heart works. That's not how I'm set up. I'm not looking for. Well, she's gonna like. I'm not looking for that. Ultimately, I'm hurt, and I pray as much as I can pray that she made the right decision. But apparently, we just don't see eye to eye. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grandma Tommy with the rats. Me. I'm not old enough to be a grandma. That shit don't faze me. None of it. None of that don't faze me. 
what what really does phase me though is the point that this this is yeah she she could have called and she could do this is undoable always been close like it ain't not one time she couldn't never call you always had long talks with him you always sit up and let her know anything you ever need to say to me that's so it's so heartbreaking so devastating to see her use the internet or to use instagram to Speaking of something she could have called you. Don't fuck this shit. I'm not giving a fuck.